Hello and welcome to the fourth session in our D&D 5th edition campaign. So, yeah, it's probably been about a month since we did the last one, but we are back on it now. Excited as ever. So, yeah, um, this is one of the first few videos of the year as well. Um, I've been a little bit ill, so I haven't been able to churn them out as quick as I would have liked, but back up and running now. So, yeah. So, in the last session... We started off at the mines, and our party were ambushed by some ghouls and a banshee from the ethereal plane, who they managed to um, kill the banshee and scare the other ghouls away. They then decided they wanted to check out some of the other mine entrances, but as they were then leaving they noticed some smoke coming out of a nearby wood, so they followed that, and there they bumped into the leader of the resistance. Lucian with his two bodyguards. They also saw that Lucian had with him a few um, villagers from a nearby village of Oxdale who were ready to join the resistance and fight alongside them. They told um, Lucian what they knew about what happened at the Widow's Keep which forced him and his bodyguards to go rushing off on their horses ahead. Uh, Lucian wanted Mulgrew to escort the villagers to Millmead however our party decided that they will go along as well. So they took the villagers back to the other mine entrances, which they checked out, and they saw some tracks and blood and such leading away from one of them towards the river. There was drag marks, so something had happened there, and they were willing to investigate. And that took them back up towards the village of Mil Milmead, where they stand on the outskirts, and Alloran, one of the rangers, from the Resistance, who is a very good tracker and scout, went off ahead, and yes, yeah, where we left off. So, currently, you are outside Millmead. For saving purposes of this, Alwyn has just gone off briefly, and he's came back. So Alwyn comes running back up towards your party, and obviously us. you've got all the other guys with you as well. Our friends. <laughs> <laughs> he goes up, he goes up to you and he's just like someone smells fishy down there. And at this stage I'd like you all just to make a perception check. And you can make yours with a Because yeah. do you get advantage on smell? Ooh. I do. Yep. You can certainly use any sense you wish for this perception check. Twenty one. Twenty one. <laughs> that was terrible. Oh, yeah. Twenty. 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 Not natural, but <laughs> Eleven. Okay, so does that Despite, yeah, yeah. <laughs> my moment to shine, but no. So it's because I'm on your shoulders. You can't <laughs> smell it. Smell, smell you. Yeah. <laughs> so you two sort of just scan the village. Um, it's it's a very small village, so you can't see a lot of it um, just from where you are. But you do notice some faint smoke coming from the inn, and you do get a very faint um, smell of fish. And oh, we're being literal, okay. Yeah, and when Alan <laughs> said something small fishy, he actually... He I thought actually he meant sort of like, oh, you know, stuff might be going on, but no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's our bag. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so, um... The villagers sort of, sort of stand around, they sort of look, waiting for, um... Just you guys to... Because you're leading <laughs> the way, so... You seem to be in charge. I've just Hello. been following you for the last sort of. Tell the end, let's go investigate. Yeah, that smoke. Bloody Onward, end. Malik. <laughs> yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> to the end, then. Okay, so you and your posse <laughs> will go marching towards me. And obviously, not everyone's going to bundle in with you, so Alan decides like, he'll stay outside and look after for the rest of the. Um, Oxdale lot, and um, Mulgrew would like to stay outside, but he accepts that you're probably not going to let him um, nope. <laughs> out of your sight. So the four of you <coughs> go into the inn. Um, well, you're outside the inn. Yeah, I'll go. I'll have Rex like follow Mulgrew in, like nipping his ass or something. Make him go in. Okay, so you make Mulgrew go in first, or just yeah, why not? Okay, <laughs> well we can so, see him. <laughs> Mulgrew very... We can check for us. Gingerly. 
that carefully opens the door, sort of peeks in and <laughs> looks inside, and the smell of fish now is quite strong. Quite a strong smell. It's cooked fish. It's it's, a, it's not a horrible smell. It's, it's, you, there's cooked cooked fish, and from like a sort of a bar kitchen area, you can smell it, and um, from the sort of shadows moving, you can sort of see someone's in there, but. Um, your immediate intention is drawn to two figures who are uh, on the other side of the bar. So, in the corner, sort of just, sort of just staring out of a window, really, looking a bit down on himself, is a human wizard who you recognise from the Resistance. And um, he has like, blonde hair. He's got some small round glasses. He's quite well dressed with a brown waist- waistcoat, brown trousers, got a nice green buttoned shirt, and some very smart shoes as well. Um, he doesn't look too happy, he's just sort of staring at the window. Obviously whatever happened in the mines is playing on his mind quite a bit. And on the table next to him, not on the same table, but on a, another table, um, sort of stares at you as soon as you get in, is a female elf rogue, who again you also recognise from the resistance. Um, you don't know the names of these guys. You. Obviously, you guys are sort of fairly new to the resistance at this stage, so you're not acquainted with everyone on sort of name basis. But she has um, deep red leather armor, sort of flowing red and purple cloak. She's got very long black boots, and she has very sort of long, light blonde hair. And she looks up at you guys and she says, "Ah, the chosen of Lucian. I see you made it out of a mind's alive." Yep. Only just. We were a trowel. Yeah. Hi. What's your name? Oh, my name is I I uh, Greywind. Sorry. I uh, I it's I it's I Y R A. I Y. Oh, okay. Oh, I like that name. That's Thank a pretty you're, name. You're in here, aren't you? Yeah. <gasps> I am. How do you know me? But just from the resistance, I imagine. Yeah, Lu- Lucian mentioned me. Oh, he, he mentioned me. <laughs> Did he mention me? <laughs> <laughs> of course, you're his favourite pet. Lucian is my pet. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do like Lucian. But um, yes. forgive me, I'm Troy. I can't remember your name. I can't remember my name. My look. Ah, Mark. Nice to meet you, Irie. <laughs> and you, um, she sort of gestures over to the human. That is Arnold. Arnold Fair and Grey. Arnie. Arnie. <laughs> I, I deliberately <laughs> gave him that name because I knew he was called him Arnie. <laughs> That's brilliant. And, um, Fletcher's out in the kitchen. He's quite a good cook. Fletcher. Uh, you could probably, probably tell from the smell. Yes, um, is, is that lunch? <laughs> By any chance, or? Oh, yeah, well, I don't know about you guys, but we didn't exactly bring a lot of food rations with us. Uh, <laughs> now you've <laughs> said that. <laughs> ah, alright, for some then. It's a good point, I don't know if I've got a lot of food, you know. You also <laughs> notice that um, <coughs> she's got like a chalice in front of her with some sort of um, white wine. Sort of spice wine in it. We've got bring them. She no. she notices um, <laughs> you guys looking at it. It's like, ah, we we found a secret stash. Don't tell Zarbag. She sort of raises her glass and has a swig. You notice that um, there's one there's one on Arnold's table as well, but it hasn't been touched at all. And um, just then, uh, another figure walks out of the kitchen. That is Fletcher Garvey, who um. You guys may or may not remember, he was actually the person who found Enya right at the start. Oh, yeah. Campaign. I remember him. He's like a hunchback human. Got shaved hair, head, sort of very basic sort of fur and leather clothing. Um, quite a big fellow, quite a strong fellow. But definitely not, not the brightest. But a good cook as it seems, he comes in with some nice fish, there's all <laughs> sort of like a sort of mashed up sort of green sort of salady sort of sauce thing. With it as well, it smells um, delicious if you like the smell of good fish. So he brings it out. He sort of looks at you guys and is like, Ah, the resistance, uh, 
I gather we are almost through on the fight. I, uh, I apologise. I should think so. I uh, do hope I may have a little bit of Salon and Fisher's way of an apology. Yeah, we've got, we got more. I, I can put some oh, more on for you. Very nice. He sort of scuttles off back in the kitchen and sort of looks over his shoulder and like, what about the rest of you? I'll consume my own rations because uh, I eat twice as much as a normal person, so it's kind of rude for. Uh, okay. Well, Mulgrude, Mulgrude makes no hesitation. He sits down and is like, How about some of this wine as well? I do apologise for viewers that my accents have probably gone since I've been ill, so bear with. They'll come back. So, yeah, Mulgrude's got his feet under the table. He's happy and hungry, so. I uh, go get the uh, villagers to come in. Okay. <laughs> Fair time. Instead of just been like, you know, standing around outside, it's like, you can come in now, sort of thing. Yeah. And yeah, before you know it, we have a bar full, and um, Arya sort of stands up and is like, You know, we don't have enough fish for all of years, but um, there are nets and rods by the river if anyone wants to go down and catch them all around. <clears throat> really, really, really good haul. Certainly in season for it all. And a couple of them, a couple of people from the Oxdale crew, sort of go back out and head towards the river. The um, the Firbolt, who's been with you, he's he's a little bit uncomfortable in this place. It, <laughs> yeah, he's a, he's hunched over a little bit. It's, it's also a little bit difficult for Malak as well, but obviously yeah, having an extra foot on him, the Firbolt sort of he, yeah, he's struggling so. He sort of this time, I was like, I'm gonna go off for a walk, um, a little bit cramped, he sort of stuck. <laughs> and the door and goes out. And, um, so yeah, um, Fletcher comes out, a few bottles, whack them on the bar, and people start helping themselves, and the floor is yours. Hmm, does seem like a party. Don't know what we're celebrating, but. It's nice we ain't got much to celebrate about. No. <laughs> oh, um, nice first word you hear out of Arnold is there is no celebration. Maybe he's just going back looking at the wedding day. Oh, well, um, sorry. <laughs> yeah, wasn't there like four people per party? So there's clearly one of those missing. Yeah, that's true. Mm. I go up to Arnie and like put hand on his shoulder and like look out the window together with her. Because I'm quite maudlin at the moment. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We lost good people today. I we, we lost a very good one today, yeah. I'm surprised Mulgrew hasn't said anything yet. To lose a fellow dwarf. But as dwarfs are, there's drink and food. Always comes first. <clears throat> I'm not going to say he's a traitor. <laughs> okay. So. So I, I, I just sits back down and pulls out a chair for. I've wanted you two to accept the invitation or not. I'll sit down. Okay. I can sit. Why not? And she looks at you too. So tell me, what was in that trap for you, eh? Well, let's face it, we were sent into a trap. I think we're all sent into traps. Mm. All of us. I think it's a big setup, really. Good. Yeah. Very silent today. <laughs> Some like you. Just fake. Right. Mm. Yeah. Any word from Lucian? We saw Lucy! <laughs> Shout from my corner. <laughs> Looks like you guys like, really? We, we didn't yep. see him. <laughs> it, was, it was nice to see him. So where was he was escorting this bunch and then he ran off. Ran off? Yeah, he left. Why? Oh, he didn't like the uh, the news that we gave him that, you know, the fort was a hoax and it mm. was actually the villagers from here. We killed them all. She was really shocked by this revelation. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I was trying to avoid saying these sort of things. You notice as well, and Arnold it, um, looks over his shoulder. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Gla- puts his glasses back. Does he do the whole, like, like the shine across? <laughs> 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 
exactly <laughs> that one. You know uh, how there's like half a dozen traitors in the resistance that set us up. Uh, like the halfling. She, she takes her drink with the map. Completely bound for rest. Um, <clears throat> I think we've got a lot of talking to do. And, um... Yeah, I'll just say for purposes of this, you explain <laughs> everything you know from her. And... It's been a while. <laughs> I'm happy to leave out the Mulgrew stuff if people don't want us to. I just thought, share like... <laughs> Don't. saying it would probably mean he'd get lynched right now or so yeah. like that but oh. he is kind of rede- starting to redeem himself I am he tr- wants to get on that path so I think I'm trying to forgive him, him. Yeah. okay so no name and names apart he from break. Oswald who's yeah apart from everyone else or just name <laughs> yeah just not Mulgrew <laughs> Let off the no tact whatsoever no I'm a goblin <laughs> I'm a troll! <laughs> <laughs> so after explaining everything, she, uh, she looks very worried at you. Arnold comes rushing over and like, <clears throat> we have to go back to a widow's keep. Like, this is all just an elaborate setup. Um, we must go back. Everyone there could be dead. Yeah, they probably are. Fuck it. Lucy, what's his name, said he's bringing them all here. I'm sure that's what he said, didn't he, last time? That's well, he was bringing the Oxdale crew. Oh, okay. Around. I thought he'd run off oh. to get the others out well, of he, her to here or something. He, well, he doesn't know what to expect when he gets there. No. Mm. So he's probably dead as well. He knows. <laughs> he could be. He could be. Don't say that about Lucy. Clearly the leader is Malik and I. Because yeah. Malik's the bronze on the brains. No, it's Zavi Braun. <laughs> <laughs> Malik brains. Yeah! <laughs> he sort of looks at... Like, we only have one lead on us until we know he's dead. His name is Malik. <laughs> <laughs> we can get into a lot of new leader, but hey, we could be all what's left, so maybe we won't even need a leader after this. The whole place would be doomed. I've got a backup plan if, if the resistance is screwed, <laughs> so we'll go adventure him and a kill him. <laughs> well, you'll see. As well has, um, you also have the artifacts to think about as well. Um, should you want to look more into them, I think I have one of them. Yeah. So it's by likely this, they're real. By this time as well, that hasn't gone unnoticed by um, Arnold in particular. Who um, mm, does not ask you yeah. about that robe? Also, it's worth um. Oh God, this is name. It's worth noting as well that obviously um. It's been so long I can't remember anyone's names. <laughs> yeah, I've not brought my notes either. That's the thing. We've got like, uh, yeah. our little group. I thought that said Jesus. Are you feeling about Jairus and Alvin? Yeah. Oh, um, Octavus as well. Sorry, Octavus is who I'm thinking of. Um, he's also there as well. He's quite knowledgeable on the... Is he one of the Octavus? Oh. Yeah. He's, yeah. He's in the tavern. Oh, yeah. He's not with yes. you guys at the moment, but he's in the tavern. So we don't need yeah. a couple of tables. <clears throat> away. Um, as um, that does... Arnold comes over and asks you about that, that does and um, pricks up Octavus as well and hmm. he also um, keeps a keen ear on the conversation. So um, yeah, Arnold. But that's uh you don't have that cloak before. No, uh, we actually found it on the way to the mines. In a well. In on a well. somebody. Dead. On somebody. Yeah. Ah. They they were dead at the bottom of the well. Makes sense. Yeah. But we, we thought we might as well take it along. Didn't know what it was at the time, but... And you know what it is now? I have a fair idea. Interesting. You know, um, I was studying magic. We, um, we learnt about something similar to that. I can't say it's the same one, but... Be careful. I will. Great robe of lucky eyes. Have you, uh... <laughs> Had any weird visions, experiences? Make no. <laughs> <laughs> make 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 a deception check. Can I make one? Um, you know, I got fifteen. Oh. oh, that's all I got because I got no bonus to it. Okay, um, <laughs> he 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 believes you. You can neither correct him or go along with a lie. Oh, 
I don't know. I don't know. He's a stranger. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Um. Do whatever you want. <laughs> Sarbuck just has this irrational. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't seen things, nope. <laughs> but everyone else says, no. Nope. Yeah. Not seen things, nope. No magic, no. <laughs> God. At this stage, our purpose is looking over at you guys. We're just a face. Just like. We are the best team ever. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Is he the weird blue guy? Yeah. That is, yeah. Yes, the one that you made me fret. <laughs> yeah. So he looks even more shady now. He's just bluest. <laughs> yeah. Green's the only way. All I'm going to say is oh, yeah. that things haven't quite been normal since finding it. Let's just put it that way. Interesting. Well, now she's been singing in all sorts. It's been dreadful. No, it hasn't. My singing's fantastic. Would you like a rendition of a song that I know? <laughs> My no. mother taught me very well. Very, very well. No! <laughs> Thank you. No! <laughs> <laughs> so that I stand up on the table, I grab a um, uh, chalice and I just start singing. I feel pretty, oh so pretty. I feel pretty and witty and bright and I pity. Any girl who isn't me tonight, and I raise it to the roof as if everyone should all oh, join in. <laughs> you got a fourteen. And, oh, <laughs> that was a good performance. That's the best yeah, actually, you can make you can make a performance check. So please oh, wow. do. <laughs> Natural one for Natural those one. who missed that. <laughs> Everyone just looking and staring. <laughs> I have minus two perception, does that help? <laughs> that was fantastic. You just, you just feel this tug on your I've leg. I've been cramming mushrooms in my ear. <laughs> as soon as she starts sta standing on the table. Uh, Arya just pulls you back down on the chair. And that, that's, an, that's enough drink for you. <laughs> Arnold, this is my second <laughs> ale. I've never had ale sort of before now. Arnold well, I have. Arnold goes back to the window. It's all tearing as well. <laughs> <laughs> His ears bleeding. <laughs> and um, yeah, after a I very mood. Awkward, <laughs> awkward few seconds, people go back to their. Well, their plates are pretty much empty at <clears throat> this stage. Those who did were lucky to eat, and there's some more fish being cooked to be. The other lot have came in by this stage. I'll and share two very... days worth of my food around. Okay. Um, which is. Four days of normal people food. It's been very yeah. easy to fish for rivers really open at the moment, so... Still leaves me. I've probably got loads of like the dried food. meat and stuff from the fort as well, but they could have a little bit. Okay, yeah, so... A little, very, like a day's worth. Very generous of you guys. I don't know how much money I have either. Don't need money where we're going. I've got like a... <laughs> We're going with a thing. Alright, okay. <laughs> uh, get some that. So, we go in back to Fortress? Um, we should probably all discuss, yeah, our plan of action. Yes, no. let, let's discuss. I thought this was going to be a trap here, to be fair. So. Me too. Um, Happy not, but me too. Maybe the other village is, like, destroyed by now. No, we didn't go to. <laughs> <coughs> um, who knows? You haven't seen any also empire between here and that village apart from the mine, so. It means hopefully. they're probably there. Destroyed. Hopefully, they could have. Who knows? Who knows? It could be anywhere. Hmm. I wish. No. I wish I had a map. <laughs> we do have a map, don't we? I thought we had like a basic one anyway to the mine. Yeah, you, you had a map to the mine, but we haven't got a map. Before. Region, but I don't mind seeing a region map. Maybe I'll have to buy one when we next. We should go to town at some point. And then I can buy a crossbow. Yes, yeah, so let's find it. <laughs> if only we had a map to find the town <laughs> to get a map. Here's a conundrum. <clears throat> where, where you are now, you're sort of an equal distance between a couple of towns. Okay. Uh, a, bit of a, a few days walk. You are closer to mm. the closest places to you, obviously, now is the Widow's Keep and 
Well, so, yeah, with those feet, really. It's sort of a, is well, that on the, the mines, way? Obviously, is that like on the way to a town? Hmm. It's it's not. Yeah. I'm afraid it is just sort of like hmm. north. <coughs> but even there, you wouldn't be a million miles from Fall Hall. It's quite a clear journey to there. That being the nearest town, but was not hmm. under Maybe, occupation yeah. anyway. Yeah. Maybe we should get like the important people, you know, the named people in the room. So we can have like a discussion and see what. If you want to. So I was think as well. A resistance meeting, basically, sort of thing. Yeah. Without okay. Lucian. Yeah, he's dead. It's fine. So who would you I like don't to think he's Zab dead. Agli, yeah. No, in my heart. <laughs> Lucy's I, I dead. Feel, Zab no, Agli. no, stop <laughs> saying that. Lucian is fine. He's dead. No, he's fine. Who, who would you like? Well. Obviously, we sh- we'll have Mulgrew there because we can't yeah. trust him anywhere mm. else. Right? <laughs> yeah, Piper, Jerus, Alwyn, maybe like these three. That yeah. So um, yeah, yeah speaking there. of Piper, Jerus, and Alwyn, they've all been like <clears throat> together, sort of just been enjoying the food and the drink and that, living on the table opposite corner. But yeah, you can go around and get them. Mm-hmm. So hang, hang. <laughs> it's them three, you four. Yep, the other three group. Basically oh. everyone but the Oxford. Oh, so well, we could get a couple the of them in, like the no. like tell them like, you know send a representative, you know, to represent your group or two or something. So um how about um Hol- whoever's like um, their chosen o- Octav Octavus leader basically. Octavus could come in be <coughs> quite hmm? Yeah. Okay. He has a name, so he must be important. <laughs> <laughs> but he- the three that I gave you last time were the, fir- the Furbolg, which was Rolaro mm. Hardfoot. But he's one mm. of now. There was Dolores Crab, who was a female human. Mm. Bit Mophie and Rest in Bitch Face Girl. Yeah, yes, yes. I remember now. Face. And then Octavus. <coughs> Let's go Octavus then. So yeah. Um, he can talk for his people. Right? Okay. So everyone else is just... <coughs> well, we'll just like gather in a corner, perhaps, around the table well, or something. Yeah. Like that, well, there is... Um, Lodgings upstairs, all the owners where you could go into, or there was a cellar. I don't think we really need to be too secretive because no, I okay. did just blab out, you know, everything <laughs> that went on. So. Okay, so in that case, um, <coughs> you push a few ta- couple of tables together and you get. You sort of Actually, go do up. we need Fletcher? He's like the half brain, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah, we don't need. Him. Okay, so he goes. He can serve us. <laughs> he's he's been very he's been very busy so serving me. food and. <laughs> Yeah, he's busy. He can, that, he so can yes. do his thing, right? Yeah, so, okay. So, there's... What should we do, Malachi? There's, there's a few That's of you, so we have a... <laughs> attempted to go out hunting or something. <laughs> we have a little council. Um, there's, still, there's still a few of us... There's still a little few bottles of a secret stash <clears> left, and Fletcher does come around and fill all your glasses for you. You all push a couple of tables together, and you all... You all round the table, so... I'll sit on the floor. Okay. Yeah, because otherwise we'll it's get... probably still yeah. the same height, you know. Oh yeah, easy. I'll keep me true. <clears throat> so everyone's up to speed with what's happening. Yeah, what's happened. Everyone's all to so. yeah. yeah. What do we? Ah, <clears throat> oh, you know. Do you tell them? <laughs> what? What do we make of of all of it? Well, I'd like your opinion. Slash, like, what should we do? We need, like, a plan of action. Should we go back to the fort? I, but that could be a trap and everyone could be dead. Or Personally, I think we should check it out. Obviously, we shouldn't just go running in there, but... Mm, Lucy I could still be alive. He's dead. No, he's not. Well, if he's dead, we should we, check it. then we bury the corpse. Mm. No, we should burn it, because we've had problems with corpses. Like <laughs> Whatever you say, um, we'll, we'll give him a we'll give him a good old send off. That's for sure. So everyone thinks we should go to the widow's keep place. Just to check, perhaps. Do we all go, or do we like leave we, some here? We can't. We can't drag this lot here. Yes, we can. No. No. <laughs> just call group go. Yeah. Let them stay here. Yeah. They can. <laughs> they'll be yeah. fine here. There's plenty of fish <clears throat> and water in the river for them. They can look after themselves and. <laughs> Maybe, who knows? This place could still be a trap. Maybe, at least let them, someone defend it. 
Well, if we get yeah, Arnold and Ira and Piper and Jerris and Alwyn to stay in there. Yeah, okay. Because they're experienced, they can defend them. Yeah, I mean, it's mm. like... Clash train them as you well. Can, yeah, you can... That's a good idea. Yeah. Quite yeah. a good idea. So between you, you sort of can work out who who's going where. It, it's a, it's us four. Um, <laughs> Op- <coughs> Octavus. Octavus sort of looks at you guys as like... If you ever want to pursue the artifacts, if they are out there, there's still a way we can win this. I'll be willing to give you help along the way. I I sort of look and nod because I I feel like she would like take that in. Okay. That's probably th- thank you, Octavius. It's all right. He's a man. <laughs> it's always tempted to pat him on the head. <laughs> How would you? Yeah, you stand on the table <laughs> when he bowed down and go, like, "Good luck." But no, I'm not going to do that because I'd die. <laughs> so Octi's the new mold then. Right. Mm. It's going to be trash. He's one we can we can trust for now. Yeah? <laughs> Well, if we, uh, yeah, so if everyone else stays here, but like, kind of like, on guard, perhaps mm-hmm. even like, fortify the village um, a little bit, could be good. After what Octavius just said, um, Arnold sort of looks up at him and is like, sort of like a realisation as if that <clears throat> is an artifact sort of thing. Yeah, because yeah, aren't they special to the region or something? like a set, <clears throat> they, if we yeah. collect them all, yeah, yeah, we get like a limited edition. This one lets us see the dead one, lets us talk, and yeah. lets us control them. Yeah. You need all three, need to, all three to control them. Yeah. You get a special toy. Yeah. Yeah. You need the special cheese first. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be up for that. That sounds great. So, um, yeah, well, we, can, we can think about that once we've been... Yeah, you know it's Arnold yeah. and Doc Tarvis is keyed. Sort of having a little private chat between themselves up over that now, and Arnold seems quite intrigued by it all. And yeah, I think that should be our mission for us once we've uh, definitely found what's happening at the keep. Mullen, yeah, Lord of the Dead. <laughs> uh, who has the cloak of eyes? Actually, it's mine. I found. I lent it to you. No, listen, you didn't want to have visions For and now. see the surreal ghoulies, so I'm wearing it. No, actually, I gave it to you because you've got like elfy eyes. Well, there you go, I, that'd be better on me then. But, but by this stage, you'll notice that everyone just got up and left. <laughs> but you just sat around, big, sort of two tables pushed together on your own, now just the four of you. Well then. <clears throat> so, um,. We should just leave in the morning, I imagine. Yeah, by this time it's sort of like it was late afternoon when you got here, so by now it's sort of early evening time, so it's yeah. getting dark. Isn't it? Okay. I think yeah, if the guys that stay, they just like put little stakes up in there, the entrances and fortify the <coughs> village. Yeah. Needs a little bit of protection, doesn't it? I'll take a shift to patrol the village in the night. Okay. I've got dark vision, so when it's at its darkest. Okay, so um, nothing you ought to do before the night. I'm just, I'm <coughs> just gonna rest up. I think. Oh, I'll network. You know, I'll, uh, I'll chat to various people. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Try to keep morale happy, etc. You know. So, as you're wandering around and you go down towards near the river, some of the um, fishermen they do give you some salmon to take with you on your journey. They give mm, you. Um, good. And one, one fish each for four of you. So. Oh wow. We'll just count that as like maybe like half a day's ration or something each. A light snack. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, they've got a lot of mouths to feed, so they're not over generous, <laughs> but it's still better than nothing. That's quite nice yep. of them. They can keep my fish. It really, really <laughs> not like, help me. Yep. Not even a Malteser. Okay, so if there's nothing to do before the night, then um, on your patrol, just make a perception check. Uh, nine. Nine. Um, you don't know. I didn't say I'm very good at it. <laughs> <No>. <coughs> you know, it's nothing, and um, there is nothing of any note. The night comes, and 
goes without any issues and eerily it's very quiet mm. I sing the night away <laughs> can't be any worse than that. my singing's lovely <laughs> I've got 19. Yeah. There you go. That's awesome. <laughs> the little crowd starts forming. <laughs> like an opera singer. <laughs> yep. <laughs> People throw some money. Have a right. Yep. <laughs> okay, so. Do, do we do it? We should do it. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> Put us out like worse than Okay, so yeah. The sun is up. Yeah. Another beautiful day. The winds died down once more. Tell Alwyn he's in charge. Yeah. Okay. Alwyn, he's been very quiet at this point. Of happy to get some food back today. Thank you, Alan. We'll make sure all these people are safe. And um, if any need any help in any sort of ways of fighting and defending themselves, and certainly a few of us are capable here who can do that for them. So. Mm. We'll certainly do that. We'll keep the fish coming in and you guys be safe out there. You too, Ali. Thank yep. you. Okay. Be careful. Yeah. <coughs> 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 too late. <laughs> you got a pet's red. <laughs> Bark. <laughs> yeah. Woof, <laughs> woof. <laughs> Okay. Happy so. bark. <laughs> <laughs> so on foot, it is almost a couple of days journey back up the view. <clears throat> and um, yeah, I guess there's anything you want to do along the way. Yeah, there's no towns or villages. No, no the, only, the only thing of yeah. note. Oh, was sorry. Sorry. The only thing of note along the way, what you found on the way down, was of course the well where you found. Ooh, Ooh. actually, yeah, we could get his skull. I knew he was going to say that. <laughs> okay, yeah. So. Oh, yeah, but that could help us with like finding. I'm the not other going thing. down there to get it. I'm well, sorry. Yeah, we had to like hold my legs, oh, and I'll yeah, just like, pop the skull up and come back up. That's how I got everything else. If you really want to, we just we'll save it for later. We can talk to him when we get, put it get... in your bag of other heads. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So scratching. Okay. You know, world man. <laughs> so the first day. Is Identify just... them. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to be the governor, don't you? <laughs> so the first day, you do Go notice. On. You do notice <laughs> um, tracks for horses, which you assume would have been. Lucian, they look like they're mm. far apart, like they've really sort of bombed down the trail. And yeah, you make camp for the night. Um, goes without a hitch, and um, you don't see any anything from the Ethereal Plane. Um, this is probably the longest period you've gone without mm. seeing anything for now. And the uh, second day, um, you make your way to a well. Cool. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I'll get him to like lower me down so I can pop the head off. Okay, so you'll be lowered in. Lovely. Troll. You, the head comes off really Jesus easily, and the corpse is in really bad way. The skull is very, very sort of rotten. Oh, this is really hammered. Sure bag. <laughs> you put it in the head of the other bag. You notice a bit. <laughs> you notice the other head, heads in your bag have started to sort of decompose a little bit. Ew. Like, I think you need to just... When, when we stop, I'll just like put some acid over to get rid of like the flesh or something. Okay. Okay, we can always say that you've already done this. But obviously, um, you do need... To, it might help you if you're somewhere of knowing which skull's which as well. Yeah, I'm going to carve in. Yeah. Okay. Wizard 1, Wizard 2, okay. Well Wizard. <laughs> okay, so there's like two W's on the forehead of this. Yep. <laughs> Okay, so in the bag, bag it goes, and so I think the world's only about half a day's travel away <clears throat> from the widow's keep. So, okay, as you make your way towards the widow's keep, you start. Um, make a perception check before um, you notice anything. Uh, Fifteen. Yours can be with smell if you so wish to. Uh, oh, I rolled a 19, so. Oh, right let's see. Don't forget to. Perception. No. <coughs> 25. <coughs> 3. Nice. So. 23. <clears throat> I got 15. 15. So. You can 
straight away you can smell the familiar smell of um, burning bodies. Mm. Uh. You can see the smoke as well. The tower looks intact. Okay. And the walls don't look no different either. They look okay, but um, mm. the gates open. <clears throat> no new heads upon poles. You can't them. see no heads upon No one on guard. Pole, no one on guard. <laughs> can I try and stealthily go up to the gate and sort of yeah, uh, just make have a, a look? Make a stealth check. I'll try. I'm all right. Me too. I'm okay. go one now. Yeah, I got two, so I got six. Eleven. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. <laughs> so, <laughs> Enya really it's carefully... everyone's looking at me. <laughs> carefully makes her way forward, but um, <laughs> no, the you two um not very quiet at it's all. Better than um, him. I'm just stomping along. He probably stomping. dropped his bag or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> and fell out. Yeah. Yeah. His head's yeah. his head's <laughs> <skull and eight. laughs> And um at first no one no one makes any appearance or anything. It's quite quiet, you make your way up to the well, maybe a few yards from the gate and just as you the sort of the courtyard, so we call it courtyard, mm. comes into the vision. You can see in the familiar position. What's his face? So. Ah, what's his face? <laughs> My old friend. Uh, it is. Oh, you haven't met him yet. One of one of Lucian's bodyguards is. I like that. Where he normally stands. They're my friends. What is his name? Oh, is it know. the half orc or? Oh, here we go. It is Frack. It is the oh, large yeah. half orc barbarian Fricky. standing over a uh, body of a um, pile of abandoned bodies as he Ooh. was before. Um, not the same bodies this time, of course. He's refreshed. I saw the resistance numbers. You also. And as you come in, as you come in through the gate, you can now start to see there's spattered blood stuff. Again, there's a pile of weapons, but these weapons are a lot nicer than what they were before. Um, these are resistance weapons. Hmm. <laughs> you can get your crossbow. I would like a crossbow. You sort of come in, you're like, oh, everyone's dead, right? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <Yeah. laughs> You also notice um, by the stables. Told you. <laughs> by the stables, which you can now see because the large, um, the large sort of tent barracks, the tent was out there, it's completely burnt to the ground. So now you can Ooh. see straight through where the stables are. Um, the other the other one, uh, Kruger Lionheart, he's standing up. He's over there by the horses, just tending to them. And yeah, that's all you see. Fracky, Krugy! He sort of looked over. Told you they're dead. <coughs> Told you they're dead. They look over to you. And, uh, Frack's like, at least, at least some of you made it back. Yeah, there's like 20 of us back at the village. Yeah. Does that include the villagers we found? Yes. We found Arnie Eerie Fletchy. <laughs> He's <sort of> <laughs> Arnold. <laughs> He's trying to work out who they are. Ira, Ira and Fletcher. <laughs> ah, so the dwarf in their group didn't make it. Mm-hmm. I've got his name somewhere. <clears throat> um, yeah, Doval was the name of the dwarf. So yeah, so ah, Doval didn't make it. Doofy. Uh, any any more resistance survivors? Just the three you saw us with. Mm. Mm. Uh, There's like ten of us. Plus you three. (laughs) What happened here? Yes, it doesn't look look good. Looks like it was ambushed when we were away. Obviously we left this place vulnerable. Mm. The whole thing's been a disaster. Um, Lucian's not taking it well. He sort of just glances over. See, he is alive. Thank you. That Kruger comes over as well. Like, you guys might as well just go on your way now. Uh, resistance is dead. Well, we're, most of us. Now it's some of us are alive. <laughs> we could, we could still make it work. Maybe. I don't think Lucian wants any more blood on his hands. 
then why doesn't he watch them? <laughs> what I do? I go off to go get Lucy and wash his hands. <laughs> <clears throat> there, there must be something we could do. Like drag him to the well or whatever and wash his hands. <laughs> we have a plan. No, you do. For my resistance. And what would that be? <laughs> to win. <laughs> yeah, Lu- well, yes. Lucian had that plan too. <laughs> Funny enough. We oh, have sorry. good means. <laughs> you are so horrible. <laughs> <laughs> I think Lucian had a troll too, didn't he? No, way. he was my troll. <laughs> well, he had you and a troll, and look where that's got us. Yeah, but we weren't here, so that's fine. Mm. No, none of us were here, that's the problem. <laughs> yeah, I'm just... Sort of bad way, just a troll, Did you find well, what the, can uh, he say? the hobbit? The halfling? Oh, the yeah. The freighter? No, um, funny enough. He's not here. We've looked through all the corpses and his isn't one of them. Surprise. Mm. Yeah, well, we ain't gonna waste our time and energy trying to find him. But if we do ever see him... But you should. It's like revenge. Well, if we do ever see him, we'll get our revenge. Believe me. Mm. I agree. If we see him on our travels. Will you join us in my new resistance? (laughs) My new world. <laughs> got 20, 20 odd members. Yeah. <laughs> that no one agreed to. <laughs> as, far, as far as we're concerned, Lucian still leads the resistance. Well, we're What's resistance 2.0. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. If he wants to come back and like lead, he can go do his charismatic thing. Oh. We'll just go off and win. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry. Frank stands up. We, we serve Lucian. No one else. Bless you. I'll go find you your crossbow. I'll go yes. find a crossbow. <laughs> and with, start with digging no through the web. With no entrails on, please, Frack Zarbag. Look, Frack looks at you and is like, you can't even give it five minutes. No. He really can. Yeah. At this stage, he really doesn't give a fuck. He's <laughs> 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 <coughs> Make an investigation check. Ooh, 20. Not mm. that. Yeah, you find a crossbow in there. There's, um, Covered in blood. And no, Not too bad, it's a pretty good, con- pretty good condition. Don't find some yeah. entrails and some hang on them. No! That's <laughs> Most of the entrails and stuff are in the fire now. <laughs> good. There's blood and stuff <clears> about, <throat> but it's not entirely fresh. Uh, it's so horrible. It's the cleanest one I could find. Lies. When yeah. you're like, yes, thank you. That's lovely. <laughs> not, not quite how my father's was, but yes, that, that'll do quite nicely for now. And we also find ten bolts for it as well. Thank you. Yeah. I was tempted to keep them. <laughs> <laughs> Good job we didn't. I'd have shot you with one. You wouldn't have had. <laughs> <laughs> when I found them. <laughs> I, I go off to clean it up with anything I can find, you know, a piece of rag or something. Okay. I mean, there is there is a there is a well around the back. Of okay, the... I I go off to wash it up and whatnot. How many bolts did I get? Uh, ten. Okay. Okay, so while all this is happening, <laughs> Malik, you're, you're in the village keep. No. We're off going to find Lucian. <clears throat> Lucy. So, like smashing doors down and then okay. find him. Uh, I'll just say for this, just make an uh, investigation check. Just determine how quick you find Minus one. Anything. I got two, so that makes it a one. Okay, so you literally go through every door until the, you go to the top of the tower and the last door, which happens Opening to be. Opening chests. Lucy! Full of gold. Nope. Lifting up the bed. Lucy! <laughs> and, um, yeah, you get to the top. And. I would say the door's locked, oh. but I don't think that's probably enough to stop you. It wouldn't stop not, me. Not the no. doors in this keep. I get plus, <laughs> like, four because I'm strength 18. Um, make a strength check anyway on just opening the door. Who knows? Why do I keep rolling badly? 
12. Oh, your strength, I'd say 12 is enough just to force it open. And yeah, in in the top quarters, there's sort of quite basic, but there's a bed, there's like a sort of little desk. And then um, Lucian's sitting at the desk. And he's clutching a little lady scarf. Can I give him a heart attack and like do it like, here's Malik! <laughs> You, you, no. um, <laughs> the, <Where's> the, <laughs> the fact that you've basically been barging around the whole keep opening doors, he's, yeah, your entrance hasn't been much of a surprise to him, but he doesn't, he doesn't turn around and face you. <laughs> Lucy! Like a stroll over. <laughs> he's just sort of looking down, very distraught. Um, he's not, he is far from himself. Get up. Ethel looks at you like, why? Can't let it go now. Fight on. With what? No one left. There are people left. I left. Any left. Zabi left. Fracky. Krugi. Arnie, Irene, Veggie. <laughs> go through the entire list. Yeah, I go for as many as I can remember. <laughs> Hippie. <laughs> Even Mulgi. <laughs> We've lost over half our members, even with the new recruits. It's like, <laughs> one more attack will finish us. It's like, I've failed everyone. Then you get back up. You keep going. The blood comes off, Lucy. The blood comes off. <laughs> it has so, to. Should we get a persuasion check? Oh, well, that's another one I'm really good at. Minus <laughs> two. Yeah, four. Yeah. <laughs> He's not convinced. <laughs> Oh, okay. <clears throat> oh, my speech is good. <laughs> oh, I let a lot of people die, even even ones I loved. These little clutches of scarf. Been there too, done that. You're a good troll, Mark. You're a good. I can't remember what his race is, hang on my notes. A dark elf. <laughs> <clears throat> <For drag. clears throat> I'm glad, I'm glad you didn't die. Well, take more than a little ambush to finish you off, I'm sure. I sit down and, like, stay with him for a bit. Okay. Do we go and find him? Something. Yeah, back to you two. Eh, yeah, I'll go find Malik. I wonder where he's been. So I... There's a path of destruction <laughs> from the tower. <laughs> I wonder whether. Yeah. We'll take Mulgrew with us. We yeah, you assume, you assume Malik is quite a big... <laughs> Bloody battle inside the tower. <laughs> that, that's your fact. No one actually <laughs> fought inside the yeah, tower. Yeah, there's all the fighting was outside. <laughs> yeah, but we come to find you guys. Okay, so you, as you get to the room, you see just Malik sitting there and Lucian just sitting there. It's a wild time. It will fall into massive depression now. <laughs> yeah. It's not like him, so it's not I couldn't nice. convince him it didn't work. Uh, Malik, who wondering where you are. He mm. managed to find Lucian. Mm. What's the plan then? Lucian just looks around and like, there is no plan. The resistance is over. No, Get it's back to your not. Lives. Well, that's a good thing. Lost. We have a plan. <laughs> this pointless. Well. Didn't you start, Malik? <laughs> 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 Our plan may work. But I'm it's listening. important to have hope. That's the point. And how many people do you think will die? I had a plan. It's okay, there's only 20 of us, a so maximum. <laughs> 17. <laughs> <laughs> so not that um, many, in the big scale. I don't think you're the right person to be talking at this moment in time. But it's my plan. Our plan? My plan. Ours! <laughs> my plan. <laughs> Solution. But this lady's losing a lot of patience. <laughs> <laughs> the I'm point just... is, don't give up. We, we have we have an idea. <laughs> we have trouble. And okay. it may or may not work. However, it just depends on how much you believe in the resistance. I've had, I had a lot of belief in the resistance. Um, <clears throat> maybe too much in myself. What's your plan? No, don't listen to him, Lucy. 
There's no point now. Mogi betrayed us. <laughs> Killed people again. Innocence. Please don't get depressed, Malak. Can I, no, can no, I no. convince them it's useless? The, uh, <laughs> the killing of civilians was before <laughs> Mulgi's betrayal. <laughs> it wasn't caused by it, like, and Also, um, where is Mulgu at this stage? He doesn't yeah, I've pushed him in the room. You've pushed him in the room. Yeah, Rex is like his guard dog. He guards him for us. He, he's deliberately <laughs> being no, quite quiet the because my well, Scottish accent is gone. So, yeah. <laughs> you know, Mulgu's trying to be good now. But, I I I made a mis I made a mistake. I I'm not a traitor. I believe in resistance. Well, it's okay because if he does it again, we'll kill him. <laughs> Aye, there's that as well. <laughs> <laughs> and by that I mean Malik kills him, of course. Pointless now. I wouldn't have it any other way. Like. It's okay, Malik. We'll get you back on track. <laughs> Slap him. <laughs> <laughs> so bad. I'll um. Hmm. I don't know how much to divulge because obviously if he's like depressed he might just wander off you. Hmm. Uh, <clears throat> let's just say we've found a way to harness like the spirits and the dead and stuff and use them to wipe out the also empire. It's a bit of a treasure hunt. <laughs> it, it involves three artifacts. One of which we do know exists. Therefore, there is hope. And what artifact would that be exactly? The robe of lucky eyes. That sort of looks at your <laughs> cloak like... Yeah, my robe of eyes. The, the one that I use. The one you're wearing now. It is. Yeah. We believe. It gives it's you like visions. It's part of a triumvirate of yeah. awesomeness. <laughs> <clears throat> and you think you can control the ethereal creatures with this and have them as allies own. There's the plan. Interesting. They have been they have been disturbed by this by this invasion. Um, hmm. Does he believe us? He will Entire. make an insight check <laughs> to see if he believes you. He does. Yeah. But he rolled really high. That's good. <laughs> um I don't know insight doesn't work exactly like that, but um no he believes you though. Know. That's good. But do we tell him keep it to himself? Yes. Yeah. Don't tell no one. I don't have many people to tell. They're all dead. <laughs> She, I just saw. Just us. <laughs> looked down. He saw. Sort of just looked down at the scarf. I was like, I don't really have anyone. Well, um. You got I'm me. Here. Yeah, you you have me. If um, <laughs> you'd be happy with my company. <laughs> we're, we're all he's, here for you. He's resistant, not being his usual flirty <laughs> self. He's really holding <laughs> back, but he's, you can see it trying to push back through. I like his character. He's fun. <laughs> Group hug. I grab everyone and like bring them in for a hug. Yeah. Even Slip you, Morgan. <laughs> oh, does that mean that she gets to like get really close? To yeah, you, you and him are like shoulder to shoulder at this stage. Squash between my armpit, you know. It's quite romantic. <laughs> uh, I have a charisma he's like, of eight. So, he's not looking, he's like, we it's a good really environment. Have got to stop me like this. <laughs> we really have. <laughs> We're still Some a giggles. family. Malik. <laughs> Snap out of it, for God's sake! We have our other friends as well. Like we have a recruits. Yeah. We have new yes. recruits. We just need to play it smart. We do. Well, unlike before. Well, we're, we're, <laughs> the recruits are at Milmi, I assume. Uh, they are, mm-hmm. yeah. With the other survivors. Very well. Me, me and Frat and Kruger will see to them. Maybe we can find some more people for resistance. Uh, if you can find these artifacts. We do need some of them guys, though. A couple. Yeah. Take take who uh-huh. take who you need. <coughs> All of them. <laughs> no, we're not having everyone. <coughs> can't travel around stealthily with like thirty people. No. We'll have to uh like a Viking raid. We'll just have to make sure our defences are and be are up and just be ready for anything. <laughs> We cannot. Well, clearly we should become more of like a guerrilla movement, you know, and like not stay in one place at any time for too long, and, you know, attack their caravans and stuff like that. 
Moving about might you know, be an quite, interesting You're quite idea. smart for a little goblin. I like, I like you. I try to hide her. In Tim's <laughs> page. I can see why. <laughs> uh, yes, I like, I, like, I like the sound of that. You can be like a grot hood kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. Steal from the Orso Empire, give it to the people so they join us, so that we can kill the Orso Empire and get more loot. Yeah. Give it to us. Yeah. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Very well. Uh, I suppose I can't stay around here moping all day. Uh, you have to understand this. This was not anything I expected. I... We're on the up. And the higher up you go, the further you fall. But it seems we have a plan again. And he sort of jumps up. like We can't sit around here all day. And he's like... Let's get some plans together. And you sort of jump out of Yay! Here we go! Another have, adventure! Have you got any actual maps, by the way? <laughs> <laughs> what, would you like a, what would you like a map of? The area? <laughs> we do. <laughs> we have no clue where we're going. <laughs> yes, uh... <clears throat> Actually, any maps for, like, anywhere around here would be terrible. <clears throat> yes, come with me and, um... To my map room. <laughs> they basically have... Like a room set up, sort of like a action room, and mm. inside it's a mess it does now. have a, yeah. a map on the. He just wants maps ripped. What the yeah. f- <laughs> <laughs> My luck! He sort of notices there's no like doors on any room. <laughs> um, Everything's tipped over, destroyed. But you have a map, and he does let you take it, and. Yay! If I give you guys that, he will talk yeah, you that. through. We are there. Oh, look, a boat. So, <laughs> we need the boat. As you, <laughs> just go, on go boat. away. <laughs> He's not looking at you guys like, that boat is just. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> As you guys know, the entire the entire uh, western area has been completely taken by the Orso Empire. They've killed everyone in Milmead, or we have. And of course, um, they've attacked the Widow's Keep. We believe they may be moving east. But whatever they're doing there, they managed to uh, evade our scouts. I don't know how they're moving, by what means. But they're doing it very stealthily. Magic. Yes. Totally magic. I think magic casters. So, uh, what are you guys thinking? What's the plan? Back to Millmead. He sort of looks at you guys like, I'll tell you what, take our horses. I'm not sure he can ride a horse. Well, both of them... Um... I have plus four athletics. I could probably run along with it. And I've got <laughs> okay. speed of four. I actually did think, okay. could we try and get like a carriage? Or like a cart? But like, like a crack cart, but one that could probably keep up with horses. I want a chariot. <laughs> oh my and... god, yeah. I'm just thinking... Cause <laughs> You'd probably have to buy one from one of the towns. Well, yeah, because there's going to be... better go to a big town then. Us. And at least two or three others, isn't there? Yeah. Um, the horses, because obviously the bodyguards <coughs> for um, for Lucian are quite mm. large, so their horses are like proper. I assume that there's probably none left here. No, their horse, their horses are there, but yeah, yeah. anyway. Um, like the scouts, um, we don't know what's happened to the scouts. They some haven't returned, and the ones that have are dead. Might be worth like leaving them a mm. sign. Is there like a secret resistance, like code or something? A symbol. There yeah, should like... be. Um, Ooh, we should think of one Wait, now. if there's like, yeah. a, I don't know, a fish upside down on the door or something against danger or something stupid like that. What about an eye? <coughs> okay. For the cloak of well, eyes. Yeah, um, no one else will know yeah, that, exactly. but if you guys oh, want to well. come up with one, um, there hasn't really been... I'm just thinking, because if there's <coughs> people oh, that God. haven't returned, it's like, like troll from anyone that uh, <coughs> might... <laughs> Come here wanting oh, yeah. to join initially, like that's heard about us. 
but hasn't heard that we've basically mm. been like destroyed. We could leave a sign basically saying like come to Millmead and then if we leave yeah. Millmead we could leave like another secret sign. Yeah, you can certainly do yeah. that. That's a good idea. Yeah. So we regroup at Millmead. Yeah. And then what we go <coughs> well, we somewhere to... else, make money for funds and, and look support. Yeah. For the Is there items? any money here? that Lucian would have had hidden or something that we could have to fund our expedition basically. there's certainly there's certainly money and um, obviously anyone who died who had any money on them that wouldn't have been left on their corpses that mm. would have been taken out there was like a treasury mm. there was a quartermaster as well who is now dead mm. um, yeah there's money and you yeah, asked nicely but uh, we need supplies for people at Millmead supplies money Food. weapons yes, is there a cart here or like anything we could kind of like fashion into some kind of cart type turn structure? it into a chariot slash like a chariot um, well because I assume we'd we'll all so travel cool. down to Millmead together and then go from there kind of thing hmm. with Lucian and that you we, probably couldn't fashion something down. here but you certainly could in Millmead I'm just saying because hmm. we've got the horses could we like strap some like wood across like, <laughs> between them and then just like put shit on it. Yeah, so you could do it, something like that. Oh, yeah. makeshift cut, yeah. Yeah, right. just something makeshift to get us to yeah. Millmead. Oh yeah, that's no, that's we want no to take trouble, there's there plenty of wood from broken doors. Well, oh, well, there we use. go then. <laughs> no idea how that happened. Yeah. <laughs> and if there's like big sacks or something, we could just make him like massive backpacks to drag. Yeah, yeah there's certainly sacks of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just thinking, they want supplies Still. and we've got all these weapons. Yeah, yeah between, between you four and Lucian and his two bodyguards, you can carry a lot of stuff between you. You've got I could pull three, the cart. There's three quite large okay. horses. I get bonuses. Well, we could just make one for you to pull on one for yeah, your horses. Yeah, I'm saying, like, we? for extra. Yeah. But the Probably more that we could take everything. to Millmead and, like, salvage, the better for the yeah. future, as it were. So is Millmead now going to turn into, like, the base? It does appear so. Well, I'm right. not sure it's actually wise being in but Millmead. I kind of think we could move to the mines. Uh, see, I was thinking the mines or the woods. Yeah. Oh, because then you could be keep good. an eye on them on Millmead. We could put new recruits to Millmead. Sleeper cells. Yeah. Have like scouts <laughs> keep an eye on it and bring them to our, our base kind of thing wherever That's we cool. go. The mines would be cool underground. Yeah, because we could clear a couple more of the other chambers. Yeah. Well, the Empire's probably moved on by now. But... Yeah, but I mean, they're, they're beasts are probably mm. stuck there, aren't they? Like, if the they're dragon, summoned to the... Oh yeah, the dragons they dissipate? the mines still. Yeah. Yeah, Magic. Mm. But yeah, I think that's uh, like the plan, and then we can salvage the money because we're gonna need money if we're gonna have to like fund an expedition essentially for us. Money mm. and recruits, I think. Yep. Yeah, and then money to get stuff for recruits. And yeah, of course, well, there's a big so. pile of weapons and some armor here, which to is take that. good to take <laughs> as well to arm future recruits. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. And any like random supplies we can find, like food and stuff. We can't yeah. live off salmon forever. <laughs> and luckily, um, the ambush on Widow Keep it was all sort of outside. No one really went in and decided to torch the place, which is very fortunate. Mm. So the food rations, what were left, are still there. And the money's still there. And a um, few odd little bits, even some potions are there as well. And some sort of kits, you know, adventurous kits and things like that. So. Yeah. Plenty there to nice. take. Um, we'll just take everything. We'll just take we, everything. We just, down, I think yeah. we ought to just the more yeah, pack everything. Take, the better. Yeah, okay, so we'll just say for the purpose of this, and... everything from Widow's Keep is going to go. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, anything we don't take now, we can always send people back to get, can't we? So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but between Jab's makeshift carriage and the horses and backpacks and yeah, exactly. stuff, I'm sure we could <clears> carry pretty <throat> much most of it. Mm. We've got three big guys and yeah. a troll. So. But Lucian's still. <clears throat> Decides to ride on his horse. He offers a hand to you if you want to ride up. Oh! With him. Oh, yeah, that, that would be nice. <laughs> so he pulls you up onto a horse. Um, I'll, I'll ride on his cart. <laughs> <laughs> so, perhaps on this, we'll say yeah, everything's together. <laughs> and yeah, you make your way down, back down towards Millmead now. So, is there anything you'd like to mm. do along the way? Any conversations you would like to have? Or anything you'd like to explore? Uh, I don't think there's anything we need to explore, really. Is We've there? seen a lot around we the search area. Around, like, the well place and that, didn't we? Mm -hmm. yeah. But, um. It might be good to, like. 
discuss yeah with like Lucian about base plans as it were like mm. where are we gonna set up and, and well what's he gonna like do while we go on our adventure so Lu- that's true so Lucian basically <laughs> explains to you like um, some basics um, and I suppose you sort of brainstorm between you how you can sort of defend yourselves and defend an area and things like that Lucian still seems quite keen on trying to find more recruits mm. he wants to um sort of travel through the farmlands and find some people working on the farms because they're normally quite the, are the is the empire on. big on slaves um it's yes mm. they but in fact as far as slaves are concerned for the Oscar empire they look they sort of look at certain races as slaves like they were that's all right i was just thinking because if there was like say caravans of slavers moving them to like coastal provinces or whatever they could raid them free the slaves and give them the choice like join us or leave but if that's not really like a big thing then um not that you know of no mm. so. is there any towns or places occupied by the empire on the map e- everything to the west of the, the river right that's so all that's the oh, way. Oh, no the other way that that's west. all occupied west. never eat shredded way. Right. I'm what about the mountain area? Hmm? What about the mountains? Where um, is it? Is there any? Uh, yeah, like that's occupied as well. Other native tribes, like in the area, like semi races mm. like half. Oh, that's cool to know. Not like um, so like lizardmen. So they're goblins. kind of like, yeah, goblins and stuff mm. like that. They're not really like civilized races, but they're like they're halfway there. Mm. If you don't know I mean, they're like tribes. The only sort of sort of tribes you know are around the Pine Vale area that woods quite well now and this men folk are more to the areas in the south of this region you're sort of in the mm. north of the continent but as you would further south them sort of races are more that's right i didn't know if like, the mountains perhaps had like goblins or trolls or kobolds or something um I mean, it's possible because they're a threat to them as well aren't they in, in yeah the there's world. certainly mm. f- mountain um, dwellers I haven't thought if about headbot races, but there are certain people. Well, yeah, I mean, if there's some like semi-intelligent ones, it could be worth sending at least like an envoy, potentially, or like something. You know, it's just another idea for recruits in the end, isn't it? I like that. But Lucian will. <laughs> Lucian also, um, <laughs> um... You sort of know this vaguely anyway, but Lucian also tells you about Dragon Tail and how, um, but you sort of know that it's r- r- run by a Grand Duke who's a bit mad, shall we say, for want of a better word. And they're not, they have no interest at this stage in trying to push the Empire back, even though that's the capital of this region. Um, they have a militia, they have an army. They will probably be assaulted at one, one point if the rest of the area goes. They'll be like the last. Mm. Place to fall, but you find you do you all sort of find it odd how they're not interested in helping the fight because they could potentially they could have also been like be bribed and asset. stuff to be like kept out of it. Yeah, so you have your own theories on why you know that the <coughs> Grand Duke there isn't the just a normal you know he's very eccentric, and mm. very it's very sort of like a dictatorship there as well. It's it might be worth us going here first. I think my plan would be uh, we go to Full Holt, yeah. gather support, new recruits, etc. So then they can then supply uh-huh. mill mead, you know. Yep. I'd then say we'd travel down to Oxdale, do the same. We could be like doing they, adventuring at the same get time. A load from there, yeah. though. It's still good to make relations well because we could literally try and take a boat or something like that. And then I think perhaps yeah, from Oxdale, we could either travel to Pine Vale or. Dragon Tail, depending on the You should also see it, what you know. the, uh, the two mage guys, and, well, the mage and the monk, it, say for the Because I assume, yeah, we want to get the artifacts as well, so. So they're at Millmead, aren't they? So we def- we're yeah, we're there all going to Millmead. Yeah. I do think we should, yeah, go to We should go fall. to Full Holt. Yeah, go there first. Even if it's not in the right direction, get supplies. Mm-hmm. And but that. we could perhaps pick up on leads and stuff at the yeah, same exactly. time. So, so you're going to Millmead first, then, aren't you? Yes. So, yeah, that's where we're going. Yeah, let's now, do that. Yeah. So, so, anything else on the way? No, nope, I think we've got a plan now. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So, you're quite familiar with your surroundings. You've done this trail a few times now. So <laughs> I remember that rock. <laughs> you usually camp at the same sort of area, although, um, 
You make good. You make good speed on the way back, and just as you get to Millmead, I'm just going to be. Okay, so you have made your way back to Millmead, and you enter the town. Your little horses, your your cart, and a few people are out and about. You can see some some more guys fishing. They seem to get quite a good haul, and uh, they all seem quite delighted to see to see you back, especially Lucian. Uh, some concern on the faces of the existing and the original <laughs> resistance members, as they see you are still quite light mm. on the numbers. And um, we'll just like tell them you know, meeting in the tavern or something to like the ones that we had before. Mm. Okay. And, uh, they're the important members. <laughs> <laughs> so you see, you actually see Jerris on the way in, and you tell him, and he goes and rounds everyone up. Kruger and Frack will see to the horses <coughs> and make sure all the stuff is um, uh, rationed accordingly. And yeah, you follow Lucian into the tavern where you already find um, Fle Fletcher basically is running the tavern now. Like, <laughs> he, ha he hasn't been asked, but he's, he's doing it. So he's in there. He's sort of basically behind the bar. Um, there's not a massive amount, there's not really sort of alcohol left at this stage. They've drank a lot of the sort of secret stash. When the place was um, sort of raided, as it was, by the Warso Empire, they took most of the food and drink. Okay, so. mm. um, yeah, so Fletcher's in there. Aya is also in there, but um, Arnold isn't yet. Um, Jerris is going around. And everyone, but you guys take your seats, and yeah, after a little while, Sorry. the rest of the, the original resistant members make their way in. Would you all sit down? <coughs> Give them the outline of the plan. The mm. plan. Yeah. Okay. We're not going to be like an army, it'll be like a guerrilla resistance. You know? Oh, um... Goals are to recruit and... Did you want, um, yeah. Octavus in this meeting as well? Yes. We do need to talk to him. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. We, we need to talk to him and... <coughs> um, we could always talk to them on their own. It might be worth having him in it, though, because then he's, like, representing yeah. the new guys, as it were. Well, part of the plan is to find the artifact. And stuff. Yeah, and we're going to take yeah. probably him so, and yeah, we'll at least. Um, we'll, say, we'll say that yeah. he... Yeah, we'll say that he's in there for the... Yeah. Yeah. I'm giving the basics that we're going to go off and find a powerful weapon, essentially. Okay. Artifact. So Octavus looks at you and he's like, and you say you took the head from this person? <laughs> Not that one. <laughs> 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 she can talk to the dead. And you haven't done that yet, why? Waiting. Okay, yeah. Uh, Been busy. Okay, uh, he's, he's like, that's, that's fair enough. Um, that would, that would probably be the first thing you should do on this quest, though. I well, keep thinking about where you... We probably need to go get supplies as well. Yeah. So I keep, I keep thinking about where you found them, and they must have been travelling somewhere around here, so... Maybe we're not that as far away as we think. Who knows? He had been dead quite a while though, hadn't he? The yeah. Corpse. Yeah. I mean, he could be chasing something which is literally a few feet away, but it could be miles by now. Mm. Who knows? <clears throat> yeah, you know, I'll tell him the basic plan, you know. Us, Mulgrew, probably Arnold and that guy. The yeah. Blue guy. Well, you've had the meeting, so sort of everyone sort of knows yeah. the gist of what's going on. We're going to go hunt this artifact. And yep. the rest will stay and here. Build support and yeah. make money and stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I, I sort of, she's another one like Lucian, very sort of um, relaxed and then, I think of the word, you know, chill. Very chill, yeah, sort of chill. And she sort of sits up. She's like, so uh, let's say, let's say you find these artifacts and control the dead and all that. Then, then what? 
Just then we get rid of the also empire. Yep. Just by chatting in on them. Oh. Can't find them. It's... Maybe that's something. Maybe that's something some of us can do. Um, she looks over at Alwyn. <clears throat> Me and Alwyn are quite good trackers. Maybe, maybe we could start scouting the area. Oh, and we left signs for the other scouts as ah, well yeah. in case they return to Widow's Keep. Sort of Lucian's or Francis. Yes, we still have a couple of scouts who never return to us. Hopefully, um, they'll find their way here. And yeah. The also Empire cannot be too far away. Um, who knows where they may go in the meantime? We. We can't keep fighting until we're ready to, until we're strong enough to win. Um, unfortunately, it does mean some other places might fall. Yeah, but, but if we like disrupt their like supply lines or whatever, stuff like that. Um, yeah. Raids. On them. Okay, let's get you inside. Yeah. Once we find out where these bastards are, we can. There's a lot we can do. Yeah, well, we know that they're, they're in all that side of the river, don't they? So yeah. Surely there must be, like, supply lines to these yeah, kind of I mean, towns they can, and stuff. They, they, they control these places, but um, there's still innocent people still living mm. there. Of course. So you don't I'm not them. saying, like, go and slaughter them. I'm <laughs> yeah. saying, like, oh, look, there's a caravan <laughs> guarded by the Also Empire. It's probably irons for the Also Empire of some kind. Attack it, take the irons, you know, just kill their soldiers, not... Yeah. Not like everyone. As long as you know that they're soldiers, because they've tricked. Yeah, but you know. Tricked us once before. And you got to take that risk. Yeah. It is war after all. Yeah. <laughs> Should go ahead. <laughs> Slippery slope. Next, it's going to be massacres. <laughs> and if we go over to their country. <laughs> But yeah, and obviously we're going to go to that full halt or whatever. Yeah, full halt. Mm-hmm. Yeah, first. Yeah. Mm-hmm. See if we can get us some support and supplies and Yay. stuff. First, we should really talk to the head. Yeah, we'll talk to the head as well. Talk to the head. I know. Head. <laughs> I can talk to the head <laughs> when we're doing that. It's become part so, of our normal conversation. Lucian, stand up, please. <laughs> so, everyone. To the resistance 2.0. Everyone sort of <laughs> Savage resistance. <laughs> no. no, still no. still mine, although Although you can be my number two, definitely. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I do like your I do like your plan, Zabaga. Has anyone told you you're actually quite intelligent for a goblin? Yes, you told me this before. <laughs> he sort of said that deliberately. <laughs> Tamalek, king of the dead. Baba goes to act stupid as well. <laughs> so I think we all know. King of the dead. <laughs> we, we all know rough. We all know sort of vaguely what we're going to be doing. Mm. Frack, yep. and, Frack and Kruger brought all the supplies mm. from the Widow's Keep. They'll be all rationed out between everyone here and. We've got weapons and the treasury. Yep, we need to take a lot of that gold, clearly. But supplies and <laughs> stuff. <laughs> you can take some, yes. Uh, <laughs> yes, and of course, there'll be, there'll be gold available for you on your quest. Um, be safe out there, guys. <clears throat> and he says, Any questions? <laughs> and everyone says, Look. Very well, then. Um, Let's, let's get to our tasks. Mm. Right. Here we go. Yeah, we just need to just pop the head Talk out. to the head. Yeah. And talk to Arnold and what's his name? I've got to remember my spell. Yeah, so I think you can ask it five mm. questions. Is it five? Yeah, it was. Mm-hmm. And then we can go for like a week. Ten can you not do it for like a days, yeah, you, 20 I'm days. pretty sure it was. Oh, on the same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah on the same yeah. head, yeah. Not in. Um, Speak, speak, skull you seek. I think that was in the book, wasn't it? Do you know what it's called? Yeah, but it's called Speak with the Dead. So I've got an app of all the spells I can get Oh, yeah. Speak speak with the Dead. I don't know. I can't remember if I have to roll anything. It's been a while since I... No, you didn't have to. Okay. But uh, 
doesn't have to speak or something like that. Right? It doesn't have. No, it, it doesn't have to answer has to your question. It doesn't have to be truthful. Yeah, yeah it has to answer. I think it doesn't have um, to be truthful. Or Right, and so it could be cryptic and all that. Yeah. Down the world. It has to have a mouth. Um, luckily, that skull doesn't have a mouth. Thank God. Yeah, so you can't, you can't use it within 10 days on the same thing. Right, so okay. It's probably, since we first did it at the mines, it's probably been about three, three days. Well, we haven't well, done we've had it a few on days this travel skull, as well. though, no. have we? So. Just probably about, mm. so just to keep up with the other ones, it's probably about five days actually all the travel oh. back and forward. Okay. And the corpse only knows what it knew in life. Including languages. Oh, I mean, answers are usually brief, cryptic, or re repetitive, and the corpse is under no compulsion to offer a truthful answer. If you are hostile mm. to it or it recognizes you as an enemy, the spell doesn't return the creature's soul to its body, only its enemy and spirit. Blah, 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 blah. Can't learn new information, doesn't comprehend anything that hasn't happened since it died, and can't speculate about the future either. So. Okay. So you bring out this head. I reanimate it by... I can't remember if I have to do an incantation, but I'll pretend I've done it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like a crystal ball. And you hear like a sort of <laughs> exhale of breath. Oh, I hate this spell. <laughs> what on earth did I know? Choose carefully. Yeah, don't say Well, you are guys you, better help really me then. <laughs> Look at me! You guys wanted me to reanimate. Well, we need to ask her about the the artifacts. What's your name? Don't let Jeff ask questions. <laughs> That's my first question. Is that your yeah. My name is Marius. <laughs> Mario. How did you come into possession of the cloak of eyes? I've been on a quest to find the free artifacts. Where I got it is uh, none of your business. Do you have any information on where the other artifacts are? I was seeking that information <clears throat> underneath the Full Holt Library. There is an archive there. Ooh, there's a library. I like libraries. Oh, that's how you look at going to Full <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> um, There's so many stupid questions I want to ask. <laughs> uh, you got two, two left? Two. Um, Hurry up before I ask him. I'm trying to think. Why were you seeking them? Well, wouldn't you like the power to control the ethereal monsters? Think of, think of the areas you could rule. So he sounds like an evil dick. I like him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. I need a person to ask one, Jeb. Just ask one. We can always talk to him later. Yeah, in 10 days. We've got. <laughs> no, you ask another one. No, because we've got a, a, a direction to go now, haven't we? Yeah. To the library in Fort Hall, so. That's what we read about him. This is what he said. He was going there to search for clues on the next hmm. two, weren't he? We'll go, I see. Hmm. One question left. <laughs> no, nope, I'm resisting. <laughs> oh, hey, that's the ones I wanted to. Um, I did think about asking, like, who does he work for? Is he in on, it, on his own, or is there others Ooh. that search? That might be a worth one. Um. Are you working with someone to find these artifacts, or are you in a, on your own? I work alone, and with that you see it. It's worth knowing though, actually, as well, yeah. because he could have been working yeah. with a load of people that now began. I'm surprised to ask him how he died. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a good I point. I tripped and fell. That was a stupid question. <laughs> <laughs> Believe it or not, me asking his name is actually a good thing, because yeah. now we can go there and see, so, like, so and so hey, so do you remember that? Marius, you know, blah blah blah. It wasn't a stupid question. No, no, you try and be smart, it's fine. I was gonna ask him, you know, like, uh, is Malik King of the Dead a bad name, or should I change it? <laughs> you, you can't speculate like, in the future, Jeff. I know, yeah. it doesn't matter. It's just a good name. We all know it's a good name. It's my, now my new goal. 
<laughs> I can't even summon them all. Well, I don't even want to wear the robe. I just, you know, I'll let someone else do all that. I think you protect you, the king. Yeah. I'll get them to stand on your, or sit on your shoulders as they do it. It's convenient. I fit on that. <laughs> so we're definitely going to Fort Hall then. <coughs> yeah. I do think we library. need to talk to Arnold and the other chap. The blue chap. <coughs> His name I always forget because Katie has Octavius. Who's that? Sorry, Octavius. Octi. The Vidalcan. Oh. Monk. There you go, in Just capital letters. Man. The blue <laughs> man. Blue man group, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I, I was wondering where the others were. So. <laughs> um, yeah, so we'll just get them two together and kind of Okay, so you get Arnold, Arnold and Octavus, you get them together. Yeah. What do you guys know about these artifacts, as it were? Arnold is well, um, <laughs> I know a lot more. I know a lot more now. I've been talking with a blue friend here. Um, I, I mean, I've heard of them. We studied them, but I never believed that they were even real. And here I am, standing right before one. Oh, I was like, well, I've you know, told you most of what I know. Um, what I've read in books. I mean, we could try and seek more information, but I don't know how we'd go about that. We well, just handed it. No, that is um, handy. Because <laughs> we got told mm -hmm. that the dudes from, by the skull. Oh, yeah. Because I talked to yeah. the skulls. Oh, I Four talked Holt, to the skulls. Four uh, Holt Library, there's some information there, or like underneath where this guy was going to go and seek it, basically. And also pops up. So, ah, oh, yes, but. Oh, excuse me, it's a bloody coat. The, uh, the archives underneath the library, I've heard about them. Um, they've been sealed for years, of course. Of course. Of course. That's fine, because we want you two to come with us on this journey. Mm. Octavus, actually, you almost see him smile. He's like, yes, of, yes, of course. He tries <laughs> to... So he sort of tries to come across calm, but he's like quite excited. He's... I don't trust him. <laughs> you don't trust anyone. <laughs> I trust you two. And I was like, yes. That's about it. Any anything for a resistance? <clears throat> I'm quite curious myself. I don't know. Mm. And you two guys have like a bit of knowledge so that's worth us having. Yeah. Yes, well, say it. You can get all three together. Sounds uh, good. That is the plan. Kind of. I think so. So, is it like a hat, a robe, and sandals? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a. I think. It's, a, it's a robe, it's glasses, a robe. and a fake mustache. It, it's blue. It's blue body paint and the. No. It's, um, it's the robe. There's a crown and there's a sword. And um, you don't know what the other two look like. Mm -hmm. And neither do these guys. They don't. They would like. They could have passed them on the street. Someone in resistance could be wheeled with a sword. They wouldn't. Know. So, so many swords down. It could be my axe. In terms of a crown, though, <laughs> I assume be. you'd find a crown at the capital. Just look at my bag. Doubt it's this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. so, uh, yeah, I definitely... So we'll basically... We should probably inform Lucian on what we're going to do then. That we well, we kind of already know. We're going to fail. He, he yeah, but, you know, that we're going to uh, go, yeah, we'll go to the archives. And we're going to take these two. And then we'll be off and we'll just head off. Yeah, that sounds good. Get, well, get the money first. Of course. And potions, actually. Might be good. Cool, yeah. If there was any. Don't take everything. No, so, I, I was going to see what potions there was and try to take like, half of them. <laughs> Yeah, he said there was a few. So Lucian generously gives you two hundred gold pieces. Mm -hmm, that's nice of him. And three um, regular healing potions. Hmm. And um, also some food rations to take with you. So um, that would be good. Yeah, that would be give very you, I'll give. Perhaps as this will say that four days. Food rations for everyone each. Mm. Mm. Yeah, we should. That should get us to 
Yeah, I mean, he's also happy for you to to take a, a couple of horses. As well. Could be worth it. <coughs> get there quicker. When we get there, we can always get a couple more. Can we? Of course, you mm-hmm. can also. There's probably enough materials about if you want to fashion some sort of card. Emperor of the Dead. Is there anyone that's <laughs> actually good at like building cards? And then maybe. But then that would just take time. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah. yeah. I mean, it would take time. It would probably take hmm. days. Hmm. Well, I don't know if we just take a couple of horses perhaps I think that'll do we can set off then can't then. we I can ride on Jab's shoulders and then the other four can <laughs> you and the other three can all like pair up on the horses mm-hmm. and whatever, can't we? yep travel a little bit faster let's do it okay so <clears throat> on the way to full halt so you have to go through well you can see on your map you have to go through the forest to get there. It's probably about two and a half days travel on foot. So, as you're sort of going through the forest, I'd like you all just to make a perception check. It's famously been going well for me so far. Oh my god, a one. I got 15. <laughs> I got nine. That was really bad for me. Um, yeah. Ma- Malik and Enya doesn't see anything. God, oh, I'm not gonna... Malik certainly doesn't see it. He's, he's daydreaming. <laughs> he's not even paying any attention. That'd go to minus one. I, I've laid, like, <coughs> some of my stuff and it's fallen over his eyes or something. No, I'm still going, King of the Dead. Emperor <laughs> of the Dead. Uh, Chieftain <laughs> of the Dead. Uh, but you notice a lone... Yeah, Do you notice a... <laughs> A little lone figure mm. um, off into the distance. Uh, um, from your role, you do notice that she's quite short and green skinned. And a she. And a she. Slitter. <clears throat> Kinsman! He sort of looks over. And for a goblin, <laughs> she's quite pretty um, in your eyes. My charisma's crap, so <laughs> I'm probably not. Your charisma? Ten. Oh, that's better than mine. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's not like Katie's twenty. You do think it's a little bit odd that she'd just be out wandering in the <laughs> woods on her it's own. It's a trap. I know how my kinsmen think. <laughs> so, you know. I think, like, maybe it should just be, like, me and Malak should wander forward, let the others stop here. Okay. It's why I'm staying. Make sure it's not a trap. <coughs> okay. I haven't used my crossbow yet. Maybe I'll get it out just in case. I'm just shooting my goblin. You said it might be a trap if there's other people about. Fine, I'm talking to They're my friends. Fine, maybe friends I just want it to shoot you. I wish I had some goblin names written down. <laughs> <laughs> Derek. Yeah, Derek. I'll like be like the female goblin. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> Hello, Gobbo, we mean no harm. Oh. Hello. <laughs> what are you doing out here? You know, just uh Lying a trap? No, wandering <laughs> wonder in the woods. It's such a beautiful right. day. Where are the is rest? It, is it a beautiful day? <laughs> it is, um this is all taking place in it's in really... basically the summer months equivalent of so. Oh okay. I got like a perception of one, so I'm admiring daisies or something like <laughs> that. <laughs> You, you don't even know there's goblins yeah. here. Do you? <laughs> uh, I don't really have anyone else. So, where are you going? Just wandering the woods. Uh-huh. <laughs> Can I do an insight check or something? To yeah. Say she's lying because. Yeah, insight check. She's a goblin. I'm... Ooh. Ooh. 19. Mm. Something's off. <laughs> You feel like something's no. <laughs> <laughs> Sarbag knows these things. <laughs> he steals and he knows things. <laughs> oh my god, that needs to be a t-shirt. Uh, that's, a, that's a really nice bag you got there. Oh yeah, here we go. It is, yeah. Where did you get it? My good friend Malak. <laughs> 
<laughs> he's, he's a big, he's a big fella. He's, uh, <clears throat> yeah, he, he's, he's my bodyguard. <laughs> Who said that? Now let's say hi. <laughs> Hello, Malik. Hello. I'm enjoying this. Where are you? <laughs> <laughs> Where are you? Where are you from? I'm, I'm from Full Halt. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Funny that. <clears throat> yes, I've yes I've lived in full hole all my life. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> you can't trick me, girlie. <clears throat> Just tell the others if they come out peacefully, Malak won't kill them. No, there are no others. Uh-huh. <laughs> I just want back what's mine. And no, what's that? You know what? You, you stole it. Did I? Alex, uh, no, no. It's our bag's still has plenty be? of things. You, you, you have my bag. No, I made this bag. <clears throat> Not that bag. You have my bag. What one? <laughs> Pull out like ten normal bags. <laughs> One of these? It's. She sort of looks down like. It's made of. skin. Oh, that bag. <laughs> <laughs> Never heard of it. <laughs> so like, shows her teeth, she's like, I know you've got my bag. You've got no bags like that. I will. Get... So I will get it back. No, no human skin. Then she disappears. <gasps> She's a <gasps> rogue. <laughs> magic. Everything's magic. <laughs> Did I witness any of them? Yeah, you'd have yeah. seen that happen. Okay. Continue okay. like. Freak. I'll be on the lookout. Like, wary of traps. I would as well. Malik won't care. I'm Malik. not. I'm not that good. <sighs> but I'll see what I can see. Still don't see. know who you're talking to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Why would she want your bag? Because she's a dirty little thing. <coughs> Says you. I'm a good little thing. I'm honest. Skin bags must be in fashion. <laughs> <laughs> This is clearly elven skin. It's not human <laughs> skin. She, she didn't have to say what type of skin it was, but she wants a bag, right? <laughs> she can join it. Maybe she wants she can what was in it. It's difficult. <clears throat> there was nothing in it. Accessories. Was, uh, I can't remember. Uh, no, it was empty. No. All right, okay. I wonder why she wants that. Maybe once. it's magical. <gasps> we better find out what's magical about it then. So, I um, Oh, well, she'll be stalking us. So, before. after about a day's travel, you get right to the other end of the... Could be with a the... cookie and a glass of milk or something like that. <laughs> like the centre. <laughs> you sort of make your way through the forest as sort of the night starts falling. Um, decide where you want to make a camp. You can be just within the forest or you can travel on probably for another hour out of mm. the forest if you want to make a out. Um, it's come up to more sort of farmland now, sort of between Full Holt and um, V. Hmm. <clears throat> so a lot of open sort of fields, but um, you can get off the sort of main roads if you so wish. Don't mind. Mm, probably not too far from the road, but. You do? Maybe just a little little ways off the road. Okay, you do notice there's like a couple of sort of big trees where you could tie the horses up to. Okay. Maybe camp out under. Yeah, that'll do. Sort of maybe a quarter of a mile, maybe not even that. Yeah. I'm really terrible when it comes to sort of shorter distances. <laughs> but okay, so you make up the camp. <laughs> so um yeah, decide I mean there's a few of you, isn't there? So you can decide who wants to go on. <clears throat> what shift and what not. I'll take a shift, obviously. I will. Sometime late I had in the to... night. Okay. My amazing perception. Did I have that vision thing? Yeah. Oh, well, I'll, I'll go during the night because I've got the dark vision, you think. <coughs> so I can see. I won't offer a booth. 
people want me to. Okay, um, you don't have to. No. Yeah, no. I'm fine. Okay, so. <laughs> so who's going first watch? I'll take first watch. Okay. So I'm just roll a perception check. Oh, please be good. No. Wait, hang on, nine. Fourteen. Fourteen. Reasonable. Okay, the night. Now the watch goes by pretty quick. You do notice um. I see a couple of hairs sort of in the distance hopping around, and a few birds flying about, yeah. sort of like an owl, maybe or something like mm-hmm. that, but apart okay. from that, it goes off of our hitch. Lovely. Who is next? Uh, it's Jab, what are you on? I'd like to go next. <sighs> yeah, that's four. You don't notice anything, you're still thinking about the <laughs> man king of the dead. But, um, <laughs> Whilst your watch is on, um, Zabag, you have a terrible nightmare. Uh, you start sort of sweating in your sleep. Uh, you think about uh, your family who, who you've lost and your past and all the bad things from your childhood sort of just flipping through your mind in this very sort of brief and quick nightmare and it manages to wake you up. You okay, Zabi? You've never experienced anything like that before. It's Wonderful like... dream. <laughs> 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 Nothing <Yeah>. there. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> that good. Not good having good dreams recently. All them dead people's. Yeah, it's wonderful. Wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Zabi, they were our friends. <laughs> I was right. I said they'd be dead. Sad. Go back to sleep. One <laughs> 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 more question. I'll after a while. Take. <laughs> if you want, you can roll a strength check to see how hard you hit him. Sure, why not? Let's have a look. Nah, that's oh. terrible. Oh. <clears throat> okay. Seven. Okay, not enough to knock him back oh, to sleep. There's a light touch. He take. <laughs> <clears throat> he takes the hint and yeah the night <laughs> seems to go by okay apart from a very strange nightmare of that bag but... so it'll probably take you probably just the rest of the day to get to full halts another full day to travel but it's well maybe not even that actually because it's quite flat quite clear ground so it'll give you a bit more speed so you <laughs> should be able to get there probably sort of, sort of just after tea time really um, if you just go flat, flat out there, there's really not a great deal to see apart from sort of farmers' fields and that. Uh, Never grown stuff before. I'm curious in farming. <laughs> you, you see, there's a few sort of corn <clears throat> fields and stuff like like that. Um, all manner of things, really. And obviously, in the summer, not everything's. Fully um, ready just yet, though. And the corn, I mean, corn at this stage is sort of getting there, so. Not something I'm really that knowledgeable on, but <laughs> normally the harvest is after the Are summer. they doing a crop rotation method, or? You know? <laughs> Absolutely. Well, yeah, they're not amateurs. <laughs> <laughs> they know what they're doing. <laughs> You do see um, one of Malik's of, hobby agriculture. You do see a couple of farmers <laughs> in their fields, and you do see some animals as well. Um, I still think we're being followed by that little creepy girl. Oh yeah, she's probably totally right. cursed, Sabi. Yeah, Sometimes. Um, do I notice anything? Do make, I? Make a I'll, I'll check my bag actually. Okay. As well. Yeah, well, just the, keep checking. The skin bag <laughs> is still there. Um, it's still there. <laughs> Nine again. I'm rolling so bad. I got fifteen. Okay. Good. At um, least one of the day. Every now and then you do <clears throat> feel. You know that feeling you get when <clears throat> someone's looking at you. you sort of get that a couple of times. And so you sort of think she's following you, but every time you look about you, you don't see her. Hmm. She's invisible. Is your bag still there? <coughs> Good. Still there. <coughs> okay. I'm okay, satisfied yeah, now. <laughs> Not much else really of note on the travel. All goes off quite a hitch. Um, Arnold 
and Octavus. They seem fine. They're pretty happy to travel and they don't get weary. Hmm. Um, but as as the e sort of e early evening starts to draw, in you reach the gates of Full Holt. So Full Holt's a big sort of a large town, so it is walled. Mm -hmm. There is guards, and there's actually quite a lot of guards. Um, as you probably expect with the also Empire threat Lumen, um, they've pulled guards off the streets. Um, people who would normally be more like your police rather than your mm. sort of maybe your militia, <coughs> they're all now guarding the walls as well. So, however, you know, they're not stopping people coming come in. So. Mm. Mm. Well, they haven't seen us like yet. No, <laughs> but they do see this ragtag group <coughs> coming their way, and you know they're cautious, but they're not gonna they're not gonna shoot first and ask man. questions. <laughs> Dwarf and some hoon. <coughs> and I'm um, at the base of the gates to get in. There are a couple of guards positioned either side. Just wave to them. Do they stop us? Uh, yeah, they, they do expect, expect you to um, state your business before you go in, so um, state your business. We're looking for these artifacts that will make you <laughs> king of the dead. <laughs> oh. We want to go to the library. Okay. Basically. Okay. I used to work and in trade. the library. I'd, I'd very much like to see your library. Yeah, it's lovely. I like books. They're, they're meant to be quiet. Very, very well. Emperor of the dead. <laughs> <laughs> They start to ask them, like, which one they prefer. Um, Empress, they quite like. Right. Yes, Empress. <laughs> and Vol this means more important, o yes. Octavus and Arnold do a little bit better trying to explain that you are actually part of the Resistance. <laughs> They're to seek information in the library and they, of course, let you in. Right, thank you. And you're in full halt. The, Yay. the evening is... Heading in. So, um, not a lot of places will be open at this stage. They're all starting to shut their doors, but of course, certain, certain places such as the sort of inn, etc. Mm. It's probably better if it's just going to a tavern and getting a room and, mm. and, that, and then we can go to like, the library and stuff in the morning. Yeah, that's a good idea. Mm. Okay, so luckily for you, Arnold knows Full Holt quite well. Been there several times before. Well, that's handy. Yeah, that and he leads you to. <coughs> <coughs> Let's do this right. <laughs> oh, come on. Full hall. He leads you to the Grim Goblin. Oh. The Grim Goblin Inn. Sounds like no. my kind of place. <laughs> <laughs> Got a portrait of you on it. <laughs> <laughs> Looks familiar. <laughs> Okay, so as you go in, there's a few few people um, at the tables having a drink, but it's not very overly busy at all. Um, quite quiet. And you do see behind the bar um, a little goblin. <laughs> He's got um, a white shirt and a little brown waistcoat and some blue lesson trousers. He's there, sort of just that sort of a rag to paint on the crosses. <laughs> He's clearly up on some sort of stool behind the bar, <laughs> so he can see over. <coughs> Hello, welcome to the, the, the Grim, Grim Goblin. Goblin. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. Uh, Hello, troll. What can I do you for? Don't know. <laughs> uh, we need rooms. Right. A room, and please. food and drink. Right. Yeah. Yes, well... Sort of <coughs> heads. How many people are there? I'm losing count. There's four, um, there's six. There's six of us. Yeah. So you're a couple of, you'll need a couple of, a couple of rooms. Yeah, I'd say about four. Probably. Yeah. So how much are they? Am I the only female in the group? Yes. Does that mean I get my own room? No. <laughs> so so each room is eight. <laughs> each you. room is eight silver pieces of money. <coughs> Malik has sworn to protect me. <laughs> yeah, I'll uh, get some of the gold out of our gave us. That's a good okay. one, yeah. Put enough down for like say, three nights or something between so. Okay. Yeah, that's a good idea. Lovely. Do I get my own? So that's roughly about five gold, I think. Mean. 
That'd be 16 see. times 3, so... No, I can't do that. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, yeah, that's... Yeah, it's like 5 gold. So it's 5, yeah. Alright. Oh, 5 nice. gold. 5 gold, and you get breakfast as well. Oh, lovely. Oh, that sounds nice. <laughs> Paid them some extra for Malik's food. Yeah, I was gonna say <laughs> troll tax. Uh, so, uh, do you guys here for the carnival? Yes. Uh, what carnival. Oh, that sounds fun. <laughs> yeah, carnival comes every year. Uh, be here in a couple of days. Everyone that's for it. For that. Oh yes, it's brilliant. And we normally get quite full, so you come in at just the right time, actually. Perfect. I used to go to yeah. carnivals with my parents. Yes, well, you wouldn't like it, would you? No. You're a sad, sad little goblin. Would you, would you guys have um, like any beverages or any food? I will, definitely. Yeah. Why did you just say that like really hesitant? <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes. Oh, it's it's food and drink. <laughs> Are you yeah, suddenly suspicious of all <laughs> other friendly goblins? <laughs> oh, what's in your bag? It's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a nice bag you got there. That's a good point. Is she in there? I wonder if she's in there. Make a perception check. Oh, well. Well, no, I keep rolling well, terrible for perception. See, I've got bloody... 14. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you can't see it. Yeah, well, uh, we can all... Have a bit of a relaxing an evening. <coughs> yeah, yep, so sounds yeah. good. Food. <laughs> I'll ask him. Uh, being a goblin, have you met a female goblin? Oh, I've met, met a lot of female goblins. Like my wife's a female goblin, actually. <gasps> it's about she what? disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> Turn <I> invisible. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, she she cannot disappear. No. Magicy, obsessed no. with flesh bag. No, well. No. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not the one you're thinking of. No. <clears throat> uh, sorry. Like, doesn't sound like any goblin I know. How strange. Well, we <laughs> <laughs> I can't really tell what like a goblin, like other goblins look like. Well, you didn't really the same see her. Right? Exactly. <laughs> yeah, you know, it was just like a blur in the background. I mean, if it helps, she was sort of wearing like a sort of pink dress. Yeah. Where did you find that bag? I was in. Um, I think it was in Millmead. I was, yeah. yeah. In like a random house, like yeah. hidden, weren't it? In there. Oh, okay. Yeah. I forgot. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I I'm gonna have food and stuff. Okay, and um, we'll say, perhaps there's like food and drink. Um, it's probably decent, so I'll say probably five silver pieces per food. And then depending on how much you drink. If I just give you like six gold for like the evening. Yeah, that'll do you fine, and <laughs> um, you'll be able to eat and drink your Yay, way to food. the next day. Valhalla. <laughs> <laughs> we need to kind of just like then tide us over for the next day. That's good. Yeah. Well. yeah. Lovely. Well, well, thank you ever so much for your custom, man. I'll leave you guys to enjoy your, your evening. I certainly so, shall. Goes off into the, into the back. Um, let, your drinks are already poured and ready to go. Um, he goes off cooking whatever meals you guys ordered. And yeah, um, whatever you want to do in the evening. Have your <coughs> food and drink, anything you want to discuss. The others, um, Arnold and Octavus um, <coughs> are very grateful for for you um, paying for, I know it may sort of technically come from resistance, but even so, for splash out on this food and drink, they're quite happy. Arnold's starting to come out of his shell a little bit mm. now. He's obviously, whatever happened to them in the mines hit him quite hard, but he's um, he's certainly starting to have some drink now. And That's that is relaxing right him, and he's certainly a lot more himself. And throughout the evening, he shows you a few little spells he can do, just little. Simple little sort of flame spells. Cool. He's not he's not being destructive or anything, but just showing you uh, his little, little pipe. Yeah, little cantrips. That's so cool. 
He saw that and made mage hands and tapped some magic on the on the shoulder. <laughs> Pretty some fountains from fans and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so, King of the Dead or Emperor of the Dead? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, de- definitely Emperor. I'm Arnold. Oh, oh yes, <clears throat> Emperor. So Arnold's getting a little bit tipsy at this stage. You don't handle this drink as well as others. Better than some, but not as well as others. I've decided not to have any ale tonight. Okay. So you're not going to give us a little rendition tonight then? No, I'm I'm actually on vocal rest currently. Ah, yeah, well... It's good to rest sometimes. With a a talent like yours then. Yeah. The longer the rest. Well, exactly, and then I can open my vocals. The next time I sing, it will be more powerful. And no, indefinite. No, never again. (laughs) Arnold sort of turns around to you and says, "You know what I really fancy? Fancy a mushroom." (laughs) (laughs) Well, (laughs) I've got some funky mushrooms. (laughs) He sort of looks at them. He's like. Picks one. Eats it. Absence. Pulls the face. His pupils get a bit bigger. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and the next thing you know, you just. Uh, clearly, he doesn't have the constitution of a god. <laughs> just eat the same one. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> Octavius sort of rubbing his back. <coughs> he's fine. He's sort of on the back of his chair. He's dribble around his mouth, but he's fine. He might sort of regain consciousness after a little while. He's a bit out of it now. But you can sort of tell he sort of needed this to unwind. Is there anyone else in the tavern? Or in? There is just, um, there's only one other group just up the other corner and just humans. Um, not, very, okay. not a rowdy bunch, having just a okay. quiet just little sort of drink and some food. Okay, so someone's shady about. Um, no, not what you can see. It. Okay. <laughs> We're the shadiest people. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and they probably, um, they probably feel a little bit uncomfortable by you. In fact, there's a troll in the room, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they used, obviously, they're used to seeing sort of different races because it's owned by a goblin, but yeah, trolls sort of not that common around any parts, really. I'll try to entertain my companions with shadow puppets or something. <laughs> <laughs> there is like a big sort of roar and fire one side, and that does help you create yeah. shadow puppets on the wall. Or I say little. No, that's terrible. That's <laughs> that's <laughs> check. Um, they're woof, not very, woof. <laughs> they're not very good. Um, your rabbit that doesn't that was a like zero, that. if you wanted to know. <laughs> ah, yeah, they're not very good. Um, no one's impressed. Yeah. <laughs> Listen to my performance checks. <laughs> and yeah, um, yeah, despite all the sort of horrors and everything of the last few days, you guys actually have quite a nice evening, just sort of letting yourself go and sort of forgetting about the world just for one night at least. Mm. So, um, also, you've got two rooms, so <clears throat> you have to decide who's going to be split up into each one when you do. Um, Retire for the evening. I've got my room, Alex. Okay. With my bodyguard. So I know them two better than the others. So if I've got to share with eh, any men, it better be the ones that I actually trust. Okay. So are you happy for Mulgu to go with the other two? No. No, that's a good point, actually. Well, isn't isn't there like a seat or anything in there that you can like nap? I mean, you could have the four of you and make Mulgrew sleep on the floor if you want. He's essentially your prisoner, isn't he? He's not. He, he's at the stage now where he wants to redeem himself. He's not going to argue with anything. <laughs> <clears throat> it's up to you guys. I don't know. Did we give him a bit of freedom? I don't know. It's up to you guys. I'm getting the tractor <clears throat> forgiving him. So. I, I will. 
mind. I don't think he's going to go anywhere. Okay. Personally, you've got your robo dogs. Yeah, I'll sit. I'll get we'll Rex just, to keep yeah. an eye. Okay, so to... yeah, Rex. Can just like watch him all night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mulgrew doesn't sleep. <laughs> yeah. Mulgrew actually lays down on his dog. <laughs> Guard mode. Growl. <laughs> <laughs> um, any anything you wish to do or um talk about before you sleep for the night? A tipsy Malik will grab. Any and Zabi and, uh, <clears throat> and make sure they sleep in his arms. Okay. <laughs> Whether they look or not. <laughs> Protect him. I do not approve. <laughs> we shouldn't keep meeting under these circumstances. <laughs> <laughs> Only you should may say that to me. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Gonna have a mushroom. Uh, Couple. So. In the middle of the night, you Ooh. wake up and uh, make a perception check. Ooh. Ooh! 21. Nice. Do you wake up, you see <clears throat> this goblin girl, familiar goblin girl, in your room, her a- hand sort of reaching towards your bag. Acid fire! <laughs> <laughs> and you chuck the acid fire, <laughs> you chuck the vial of acid at her quickly, and as you do, she disappears. Filthy. <laughs> Does the right, commotion wake me? In, yeah, the, the sound of a smash. <laughs> well, maybe, maybe not him, but I'm like, what's going on? What happened? Nothing. You little liar! There's acid on the floor. What were you doing? Cockroach. <laughs> then um, she reappeared, didn't she? That girl. Oh, Octavus rushes into the room as well. Like I heard a smash. Everything alright? Yeah, it's okay. It's just some cockroaches. I've got room. He's lying. Don't listen to him. It was that creepy <laughs> goblin girl again. I know it. I wasn't awake, but I know it. I know what he's like. Is this true? No, it's cockroaches. Make a deception check. Yeah! Damn it! 17. Very well. I'll see you all in the morning. You absolute <laughs> idiot! For God's sake! Make a persuasion check. Nineteen. Oh, that's... oh, actually, I didn't even. What is my persuasion? Plus six. Yeah. It's considerably higher than yours. Not well, my zero. So. <clears throat> you sort of tapped her right in on. Well, keep an eye out for her, and clearly she can just vanish and reappear as she likes. But hmm. we'll catch her. I hope we'll so. Catch her. Like she's stalking you. I just had a perfect idea to hide the bag. Just put it down like Malik's pants, basically. <laughs> <laughs> no one will go down With there. There's three heads rattling around <laughs> <in> it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Next time you ask some questions, I was like, ah! I'm going to leave <laughs> you two to, to hide the bag. I'm going back to sleep. Okay, and. <clears throat> nom, 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 nom. <laughs> I just sleep through the whole instant. Yep. <laughs> and um, nothing of any note happened that night. So, and as the morning uh, starts and the sun rises, <clears throat> we'll leave it there until the next session. So, um, thanks for everyone. Uh, it's been really good, and um, the story is starting to progress now. Uh, really enjoyed that session. <clears throat> Hope you guys are enjoying the story at home. This one should hopefully have recorded without any issues. And we've sort of gone for this sort of setup, so hopefully that's okay. Hopefully you guys are enjoying that. And yeah, really enjoyed that. And we'll be trying to do as many of these as we can to get this story going. It's really starting to get really interesting now, and I'm quite intrigued to see where it goes next. Um, This was a really, really good session for me because I didn't know where any of it was going to go. So that's worked out really well. So yeah, thanks guys. Really good. (laughs) Cool. Thank you. First time using the green screens, just have a different background up. Um, Hopefully in the future I'll like to change the background to match where we are um, in the world as well. That's something I want to try and do in the future. Just need to get a few more backgrounds to use, but... Yeah, I hope you're making it a bit more visually interesting for everyone else. So yeah, if you did like it, um, please do give it a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe to our channel <laughs> to keep up to date when the next episodes come out. And leave any comments down below. Let us know if you're enjoying it or what characters 
you like who's your favourite and Zabek. what you think's going to happen Zabek. next. So. No. King of the Dead? Not or Emperor of yes. the Dead? Yes, the That's debate. Nice. King of the Dead or Emperor of the Dead? The That's that is the most important question <laughs> of this session. Uh, I'm going to rule this continent. <laughs> I apologise if I keep coughing. I'm almost recovered. Almost. Um, thank you so much. We'll see you again soon. Bye.